Welcome dear audience students and scholars here I am Dr. Amjad Ali in this video we will learn about labor market experience in case of Europe dear scholars although our discussion has focused largely uh, on United States many fascinating and sometimes puzzling phenomena uh, become apparent when economists compare the experiences of Americans in the labor market with those of European in counterpart. So let's see our, uh, our uh, uh, topic of discussion with some graphical presentation the rise in European unemployment mm, here we have a graphical presentation that graph is taken from Bureau of Labor Statistic uh, this graph shows the rate of unemployment from 1960 to uh, 2008 in four largest European countries France Germany Italy and the United Kingdom uh, you can see the rate of unemployment in these countries has uh, risen uh, substantially for France and Germany. The change in particularly pronounced unemployment averaged uh, about 2% in 1960s and about 10% in recent years. But uh, uh, you can see in, uh, in case of United uh, Kingdom this rate is substantially lower in case of European countries. Okay, then uh, a main question is rises uh, here uh, that uh, what is the cause of rising European unemployment? Okay, no one knows for sure, but there is a leading theory. Uh, many economists believe that the problem can be traced into intersection between a long-standing policy and a more recent shocks. And the long-standing policy has generous benefits for unemployed workers. Uh, the recent shock uh, is a technological driven fall in the demand for unskilled workers relative to skilled workers. There is no question that most European countries have generous programs for those without uh, jobs. These programs go for the various names like social insurance, the worker welfare state or simply the dole. Uh, many countries allow the unemployed to uh, collect benefit for years rather than for only a short period of time. As in the United States, in some sense, those living on the dole are really out of the labor force given the employment opportunities available. Taking a job is less attractive than remaining without work. Yet these people are often counted as unemployed in government statistics. Okay, there is also no question that the demand for unskilled workers has fallen relative to uh, the demand for skilled workers. This change in demand is probably due to change in technology. Computers, for example, increases the demand for workers who can use them and reduces the demand for those who cannot. Uh, in the United States, this change in demand has been reflected in wages rather than unemployment. Over the past two decades, Decades, the wages of unskilled workers has fallen substantially relative to the wages of skilled workers in Europeans. Uh, however, the welfare uh, states provide unskilled workers with an, with an alternative to working for the low wages. As the wages of unskilled workers fall, more workers view the uh, view the dole as their best available option. The result is a higher unemployment. Uh, this diagnosis of high European unemployment does not uh, suggest an, ease, uh, an easy remedy. Uh, reducing the magnitude of government bene benefits for the unemployed would encourage workers uh, to get off the dole and uh, accept low uh, wage job but in uh, but it would also uh, uh, create economic inequality the uh, the very problem that welfare state policies were designed to address 
unemployment variation within the Europe Europe is not a single labor market but uh, is instead a collection of national labor market separated uh, not only by national borders but also by difference in culture and language uh, because these countries differ in their labor market policies and institution variation within Europe provide a useful perspective on the causes of uh, unemployment many empirical studies have therefore focused on these international differences the first noteworthy fact is uh, that the unemployment rate varies substantially from country to country for example in august 2008 when unemployment rate was 6.1 percent in the united states it was 2.4 percent in switzerland and 11.3 percent in spain although in recent years average unemployment has fallen in europe than in the united states about a third of European uh, have been living in a nation uh, with unemployment rate lower than the United States uh, unemployment rate. So a second uh, notable fact is that much of the variation in unemployment rate is attributable uh, in, uh, to the long term uh, unemployment. The unemployment rate was uh, uh, or can be separated into two pieces the percentage of the labor force uh, that has been unemployed for less than a year and the percentage of the labor force that has been unemployed for more than a year the unemployment uh, rate exhibits the uh, more variability from country to country uh, than does the short term unemployment rate Okay, uh, national unemployment rates are correlated with a variety of uh, labor market policies. Unemployment rates are higher in nations with more generous unemployment insurance as measured by the replacement rate, the percentage of previous wages uh, that is replaced when a worker uh, losses uh, a job. In addition, nations tend to have higher unemployment, especially higher long-term unemployment uh, if benefits can be uh, collected for a longer period of time. Although the government spending on unemployment insurance seems to raise uh, unemployment uh, spending uh, on active labor market policies uh, appears uh, to decrease uh, uh, this rate. These active uh, labor market policies including job training assistance with uh, job source uh, and uh, subsidized employment Spain for instance had historical had a high rate of unemployment effect that can be explained by the combination of generous payment uh, to the unemployed with a minimal uh, assistant at helping them find a new job okay then we have uh, the role of unions also vary from country to country uh, this fact also help explain differences uh, in uh, labor markets outcome uh, national unemployment rates are positively correlated with the percentage of the labor force whose wages are set by collective bargaining uh, uh, with unions the uh, adverse impact of unions on, on unemployment is smaller however in nations where uh, there is substantial uh, coordination among employers in bargaining with unions perhaps because coordination may moderate the upward uh, pressure on wages a word of warning is that uh, the correlation does not imply the causation so empirical results such as these should be interpreted with the causation but uh, they do suggest that uh, a nation's unemployment rate rather than uh, 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 being uh, um, uh, uh, immutable uh, is instead a function of a choice uh, nations make. 
Okay, here we have the rise of uh, European layers, uh, higher uh, unemployment rate in Europe, uh, Europe are part of the larger phenomena that uh, European typically work uh, fewer hours than do the American counterparts. Let's see our graphical presentations uh, here. Uh, uh, this graph presents the data on how uh, many hours the typical person works in the United States, uh, France, and Germany. In 1960, the number of hours uh, work was about the same in each of these countries. But since then, uh, the numbers of hours uh, has stayed level in the United States while uh, it has declined substantially in uh, Europe. Today, the typical uh, American work more than uh, uh, more hours than the uh, typical resident of these two uh, Western European countries. So uh, yeah, we can compare that uh, how the uh, uh, the uh, uh, less working hours are preferred uh, in uh, European countries. Okay, here we have the uh, difference in hours work reflects two main facts that the first, uh, the average implied person in the United States uh, uh, work more hours per year than the average implied person in Europe. Europeans are typically enjoy shorter uh, 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 work weeks and more frequent uh, holidays. Second, more potential workers are implied in the United States. Uh, that is uh, the employment to population ratio is higher in the United States than it is in Europe. Uh, higher unemployment is uh, one reason for the lower employment uh, to population ratio in Europe. Another reason is earlier retirement in Europe and thus lower labor force participation among old workers. So here uh, uh, some of the main questions are arises, uh, arises that what is the underlying cause of these differences in, uh, in work patterns. Okay, economists have proposed several hypotheses to answer this question. The first one is the uh, Edward uh, Prescott, uh, the, uh, the 2004 uh, winner of the Nobel Prize in Economics, has concluded that virtually all of the large differences between the U.S. labor supply and those of the Germany and France are due to uh, differences in tax system. This hypothesis is consistent with two facts. First, Europeans face higher tax rates than Americans and uh, the European tax rates have risen significantly over the past several decades. Some economists take these facts as powerful uh, evidence for the impact of taxes on work effort. Yet others are uh, spectral, uh, arguing that uh, to explain the differences in hours work by the tax rate alone requires uh, uh, an impossible, uh, impulsively a large elasticity of uh, labor supply. Okay, while well, uh, uh, giving the answer of this question that what is the underlying cause of these differences in labor uh, in work pattern in Europe and we have another hypothesis or uh, related hypothesis is that the difference in observed work effort may be attributable to, uh, to the underground economy. When tax rates are high people have a, a greater incentive to work off the books uh, to evade taxes. Uh, for obvious reasons, data on the underground economy are hard to come by, but economists who study the subject believe the underground economy is larger in Europe than it is in the United States. So this fact uh, suggests that the difference, is, uh, difference in uh, actual our work, uh, including work in the underground uh, economy may be uh, smaller than the difference uh, is uh, in mired or are, are worked.
Okay, while uh, giving the answer of uh, this question, we have another hypothesis. Another hypothesis stresses the role of union as we have seen collective bargaining is more important in Europe than in the uh, US labor markets. Okay, unions often push for uh, sh uh, shorter uh, work weeks in contract uh, negotiation and uh, uh, the lobby the government for a variety of labor market regulations such as official holidays. Uh, many economists conclude that mandated uh, holidays can explain 80% of the differences uh, in weeks uh, work between the US and uh, uh, Europe and 30% of the difference uh, is total labor force uh, supply between the two regions. Okay, they suggest that uh, uh, Priscord may overstate the role of taxes uh, because looking across countries, tax rates and unionization rates are positively correlated as a result the effects of uh, high taxes and the effects of widespread unionization are uh, hard to uh, uh, dis uh, tangle. Okay, while giving the answer of uh, this question, we have a final hypothesis. A final hypothesis emphasizes the possibility of, of uh, different preferences. As technological advance uh, and economic growth has made all advanced countries uh, richer, uh, the people around the world must decide whether uh, to take the uh, greater uh, prosperity in the form of increased consumption of goods and services or increased is layer. According to uh, economists like Oliver uh, uh, Planchard, uh, the main differences uh, is the is that Europe, Europe uh, has used some of the increase in productivity uh, to increase layer rather than income, while uh, the U.S. has done the opposite case. Okay, Blanchard uh, believed that uh, Europeans simply have more taste for layers than do Americans. Okay, if Blanchard is right, uh, this uh, raises the even harder question uh, of why tastes vary by, geo by geography. So economists continue to debate the merits of these alternative hypotheses. In the end, there may be some truth, uh, some of these hypotheses are true, but, uh, uh, but uh, the all uh, giving information of these hypotheses are uh, not completely true, but some way, uh, some parts of uh, uh, the information these hypotheses are providing uh, uh, is somehow true. So, uh, this is all about uh, labor market experience in case of uh, European countries. So, see you with another video. Ciao.